Hey guys, so today I want to do a video based on lining your lips and filling them in when it comes to liquid lipsticks. Um, a lot of you who follow me on Instagram as well as on here know I'm very much into like lip swatching, liquid lipsticks, the swatch videos, and everyone's like, oh my god, like how do you get your line so crisp? How do you do this and that? Um, and without picture editing like crisp in general. And I just wanted to make a video dedicated to how to apply liquid lipsticks. The steps I take to make it look very, like, flat and not too crispy and all those things. And, yeah, so I want to do a video, like, revolving around it. I've done how to overline your lips in the past. I've done those kind of videos. I've actually done two in the past. Maybe I might do an updated one. I don't know. Is that something you guys want to see? Let me know down below. And yeah, so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what else you want to see. Subscribe if you haven't. Hello, how you doing? And yeah, let's get into it. Tutorial on this look will be coming soon too, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so first things first, lip care is the ultimate key to success when aligning your lips and doing liquid lipsticks and all these things. Um, that's very important. Make sure you drink your water because honestly, when you're dehydrated, the first place it shows in your lips. And also your eyes start to burn a little bit. Well, I mean, mine do. And yeah, so I would always stay hydrated. Don't be thirsty. Like, that's the given. Um, lip care wise, I love the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Honestly, it'll last you forever. And it works amazing. Another thing I like to use is Aquaphor or Vaseline on my lips. Overnight, get her done. I love things like that. Um, what else? What else? Any chopsticks? I like the sugar ones, but they're a little bit too expensive. I, I, I just can't. Like, I bought it once and I was like, you know, I have too much lip for that. I'm, I'm not purchasing this again. No. So, lip care is probably the most important. I mean, honestly, you can get like a run of the mill chapstick and be on your way. I actually like the EOS ones other than putting them in my pockets because then it looks inappropriate and I don't put those in my pockets. So, I keep them in my little purse whenever I need them. And yeah, so lip care done. I actually was using this before and yeah. So what I tend to do since my lips are more pigmented, I go over with my foundation brush, just kind of blink them out a little bit. They're naturally like dark, like yeah, <laughs> dark. So I usually go over with a little bit of foundation just to get like the lines to kind of like where my foundation and my lip actually separate, like I want to get it like blink. So the color I'm going with today is LA Splash in the shade Love Good, which is kind of like a plummy mauve. And I like to apply liquid lipsticks two ways. I don't use lip liner with my liquid lipsticks unless they're super nude. Then I'll use like a brown lip liner and kind of blend them together. But I usually don't. I'm not a fan of using lip liners with them. I just kind of feel like it defeats the purpose in a way. I just, I, I don't know. I don't like them. But I either apply it with the actual applicator or I use a brush. And brushes I like to use, I, I don't like using these long skinny brushes. I like using these brushes that are kind of flat and stubby. Um, this one here is from Morphe, and these are eye smudger brushes, but I use them for the lips. And this one's a MAC 228. Again, these are supposed to be used for the eyes, but I feel like they just fit the curvature of your lips like they were made for your lips. So I tend to love these brushes. Um, today, I think I'm gonna go straight out of the tube. Um, I do have a discount code for all LA Splash liquid lipsticks below. It works for the whole website. And yeah, so what I tend to do is I start off in the middle of my lips and always wipe off your chapstick before just blot it off. And then once I get the color really in the middle, I'll go on the outside and always make sure your elbow is rested on some on like a steady surface and start to line slowly. And the smaller the strokes, and I usually don't rub my lips together to get it on the top. I do them separately, I let them dry separately, and then I go from there. Because usually when you try and rub them together, that's when the liquid lipstick starts to crumble. Because you're using, like, you're rubbing dry surfaces against each other, and they just kind of, like, ball up. So I do them separately. So for the top lip, what I do is I work on the cupid's bow first, and then I work out. Obviously, the bottom lip, I'm going to fix it with concealer in a second, and that's why it looks kind of jinky right now, because it's too much coffee, girl. So what I'll do, I'll kind of bring it down. And really define it. And then I'll go 
along the lip line. And then fill it in. Now, if you've made any mistakes, really wait for that lip good lipstick to dry down before you start making any corrections. Because when you think about it, I rather work with a dry texture and like a cream concealer than working with it still liquidy because then it's going to pick up with the concealer and then mix in with the concealer and you have like a red ring around your mouth and it's not going to look cute. So I usually take like these brushes for the concealer and I'm using the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC in NW30. And you want to work in light layers, take some out on, on the back of your hand. Now, can we talk about this for a second? Like, have you ever seen those girls or guys who like, you know, they like went around their lip with concealer, but you see that halo? Well, let me tell you, I'm not Beyonce and I don't want to see your halo. So if you ever get that, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I really, I poke fun at these things. But like, I've been there before and sometimes if you use too much concealer, you can kind of see that ring of like, concealer that you can't blend it out, nor, like towards the edges. I've seen the same thing with eyebrows. People carve them out, but then you can still see the concealer. Tissue is your best friend. And it'll pull like any kind of extra moisture, any extra concealer. Same thing if with your eyebrows, take a little napkin, go and press it on, and it'll remove any extra concealer. It's like, it'll take your halo away, okay? So that's like the best tip I can offer you. So now you can see the liquid lipstick is dried down. When you turn, you can see how very straight the edges are. I like a very angular lip with a very rounded cupid's bow and very like pointed down. That's the kind of lip shape I like. That's the way my lips are kind of shaped, but I like to enhance that a little bit more. Um, as far as brushes go, again, the Morphe one is great, the MAC one's great. Morphe one's a little bit smaller, and actually when the liquid lipstick gets into it, it's a little bit stiffer, so I'd recommend this one because it's a little bit smaller. So yeah, I hope this helps you guys. Um, as far as maintenance throughout the day, depending on what liquid lipstick you use, LA Splash, they don't come off for me. A lot of people tell me that they do tend to kind of crumble. My thing is, with any liquid lipstick, if you rub your lips together, they're going to crumble. It's it's dry texture on dry texture. The friction is going to make them crumble, so that's just that's just a common thing with liquid lipsticks. That's kind of like the fault of it, because when you think about it, glosses, they just rub against each other and just slide. Liquid lipsticks, it creates friction. They're going to crumble. Hate to break it to you, that's just what happens. Um, as far as reapplication goes, LA Splash, they reapply good, but I would recommend tapping it over wherever you have a little bit like loss of opacity. I would just take it on your finger, then tap it in, take it a little baby wipe, wipe it off. Um, the Anastasia ones are some of the best ones for reapplication. Again, I would take it on like a fluffier brush and do it to where it's not to where you're like rubbing it, because that'll again create friction, create the lipstick to very crumble and stuff like that. So yeah. That's just like the common things, it's the best advice I can give. Again, stay hydrated, don't be thirsty. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you want to see more like little how-to videos. Or I know a lot of you guys are into lip swatch videos. Maybe like my favorite mauve lipsticks. Would you guys want to see something like that? Let me know down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, let me know what else you want to see. Um, a tutorial for this look will be coming soon. Hopefully the next video up will be this one. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy these videos. I like just sitting down and chatting and being stupid because that's what I do all day. And yeah, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And until next video, I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching.